So you have the roof draining into the top of the rain barrel. I've got my overflow and I've got my water line to about here. So I've got plenty of water to test. And then my spigot with just a regular 25 foot length of hose attached to the spigot. Um, all I have to do is open it up and uh, water will actually come out. Back off. This is the end of my hose that is attached to my rain barrel. All I have to do, see I got the valve on now, I just point it downwards and I got water coming out. Alright, so I got plenty of water in my rain barrel to push it out. Okay. Now I connect just a regular standard hose and nozzle. It's got all the different sort of sprays on it. I'm just going to connect that on there and turn it on. Nothing's coming out right now. So, okay, so I have it down here. But if I come bring it up up here, yeah, if I want to spray the yard, do anything like that, can't really do it pulled up. I'm going to have to point it downwards in order to get enough pressure for something to come out. Now I change it. So the first hose I'm going to test is going to be the soaker hose. So I've just got a really small soaker hose. It's maybe you know, six, six feet in length. I bought it five, six, seven years ago. Nah, probably four or five years ago. I can't find this sort of length of soaker hose anymore. Um, but again, all I do is just snap it in. It's quick connected. I'm going to lay it out, I'm going to turn the water on, and then I'm going to bring in the show. So I've got my hose here, my valve is turned on, this is the beginning of my soaker hose. Now they do tend to leak at the beginning, so I'm getting quite a bit more water up at the connection. And then you can see that I am getting pretty good spread of water. That's about as much water as you can expect coming out of a soaker hose. It's not too bad, it's spreading out. So if you want to use a soaker hose attached to your rain barrel, you can. This is what you can expect from it.
So this is my rain barrel in the front of the yard. And yes, it's just a little trash can that holds water. Um, it was holding water so well I decided to use it as a rain barrel because I didn't need it as a trash can. I have other trash cans. So I'll show you and you can see I have this long hose sticking out of it. It's actually two hoses connected right here. And I'll show you the small black one is down in the water and it is anchored down into the water by a very heavy um, brick paver. Okay, And I weigh it down because I want the end of this hose to stay in the water. If it comes out of the water then you lose your siphon. Okay, Now I chose to use a small black hose as my starter feed. Okay, This is very important. inline shut off valve and when I open it water from the rain barrel comes out okay it's actually coming out pretty good too All right. all I have to do is attach them and that's why I have my handy quick attaches here and you can see water coming out from the soaker hose because remember it leaks right there and then as you go along, eventually you'll see that the rest of the soaker hose will fill up with water. So you can see. And it takes a little bit more time because you really don't have a whole lot of pressure. But there's the end of the soaker hose. So now the water's reached the end of the soaker hose. And I can actually see some water starting to come out over in this area. And I got water beating out right here. And I have now connected my sprinkler hose to it. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to turn on the valve. Oh, and already you can see water sprinkling out here, water sprinkling out there, there. Okay. And this sprinkler hose is also 25 feet. So it's going from the rain barrel out through a 25 foot length of hose into a 25 foot length of sprinkler hose. And that's the end of my hose. And there you have it. There is using a siphon which has no power to it, attached to a sprinkler hose and a soaker hose.